we are at the January transfer window. There is plenty of deals to be done. But we've played a lot of fixtures. Let's go see how we've went. So following on from their disappointing back-to-back -back draws against Everton and Blackburn, we went away against High Flying Fulham and beat them 2-1. Abia Ezia and Kazim Etem with the goals for us. They got an 80th minute consolation. We were next at home against Preston and got a 1-0 home win. Angelo Endreka, our left back, with the goal. We then absolutely smashed Stoke City at home. Walter Bengua, Ben Pearson, Richard Granger and Ezia in an easy 4-0 win. Next up was Coventry. It was a 2-1 away win. Bachawi got the goal for them in the 52nd minute. But Ian Chapman and Jim Walker were two young English wonder kids getting the goals for us. 4-1 at home against Charlton. Kazim Edem, Ian Chapman, Jim Walker, Abia Ezia. 3-1 away from home against Swansea, Mejia, Endreka, Chapman. 2-0 away win against Derby, Richard Granger from the penalty spot. Ian Chapman in the 71st minute. And we were down to 10 men from the 8th minute in this game. So the fact that we managed to get 3 points was absolutely huge. 3-2 home win against Hull City. Kazim Edem, Abia Eze and Ian Chapman with the goals in this one. It was a pretty tight game. We had to fight for this. An 89th minute goal got us the win. We then played top of the table Millwall and beat them 3-0 at home. Ian Chapman, Richard Granger and Olaf Korbaki with the goals. We then smashed Rotherham 5-1 and Drekka, Abia, Eze, Kazim, Etem, Jim Walker, Ian Chapman with the goals for us. All of these goals coming in the first half. And we ended off with the 2-1 defeat. <laughs> we won about, was that 9 or 10 games in a row? And we then got beat at home against Crystal Palace 2-1. Jim Walker had put us in front, but two goals in the 32nd and 47th minute meant we fell to a defeat. But with that, we still... Well, still, we now sit top of the table. We are one point clear from Millwall, currently sitting in second. But more importantly, we're four points clear from Everton, sitting in third. So, absolutely fantastic run of form to take us to the top of the table. We're not running away with it, but um, we've put ourselves in a massively strong position to at least get automatic promotion. And just quickly, before we get into the transfers, we'll see how our former clubs are doing. Birmingham currently sitting in seventh. Absolutely fantastic. Barnsley in 9th. Huddersfield in 11th. Everything is coming up rosy. We want to keep, see these three teams stay in the Premier League so we can face them next season if we get promoted. And as you can see, the top two goal scorers, Salenza, we signed for Birmingham City on a free. He's turned out pretty special. And Damian Maillard, we signed for Huddersfield. We signed him for a free. Uh, yeah, two good, two good striker signings there. Well, that takes us to our January transfer window. We currently have a four, uh, £56 million budget, 100 k available in the wages. We will just slightly adjust that to make it a bit more even. Um, we've done a lot of business already. In fact, we might have done all of our business already. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see if these deals come through. I have been going through the expiring market quite heavily to see if we can sign some players who are under the age of 21 to be able to put into our under-23s. And I think we've found... A good couple of youngsters. We'll quickly go through them. Domenico Tonelli from Emily. Um, he looks like a very, very good centre-back. Italian, 19 years old. Not someone who I anticipate being part of our first team squad in the near future. But um, he will go into the under-23s and hopefully continue to improve. He looks he looks decent. Um, next one was Kana Aden, Who I do actually really want to bring into the first team squad for this season. If we possibly can. He's only valued at 60k. So if he agrees our... Um, if he agrees with our contract, hopefully we won't have to pay too much to bring him in immediately. A two and a half star current five star potential central midfielder. Um, I think it's a bit of cover we could use. And speaking of players who I wish I could sign right now, Pietro Porcino. He's out currently on loan at Hamburg, um, but he is a Napoli player. His contract's running out. We've offered him a pretty decent deal. In the summer, I was prepared to pay quite a lot of money for this boy. <laughs> I actually had a, a, a deal agreed. With Napoli, I think it was over 10 million. I'll just put it that way. But obviously, Kevin Majaya came in instead. I think he'd be a very good substitute to Kevin Majaya. He's currently playing Bundesliga football. Um, so he would see us well next season if we are to get promoted to the Premier League. But he looks absolutely fantastic. And I hope we can make him a part of our squad next season. Florentino from Atletico Madrid. I'm a little bit um and an ah about this one. He is iron willed personality. It's not something you see too often. Um, currently a three and a half star, five star player, my scout reckons. I don't believe that. I think he's a little bit worse. But he gives us a lot of cover options in it, in a lot of key areas. Deep line playmaker, central midfield, attacking midfielder, and also a striker if we're really, really desperate. Um, so 
and see how much we can sign him for in the January transfer window if he agrees a deal. We've made a permanent offer for Oscar Renberg. Um, we need some cover on that right-hand side, I believe. A lot of our players are currently wanted, a lot of our backup players, so we might end up making quite a lot of sales um, during this window. Model citizen personality, we're currently getting him scouted to really understand the extent of his potential, but even if he doesn't have five-star potential, if he only has, let's say, a three-and-a-half-star potential, I'm, I'm still going to bring him in for 1.2 million. He can either be a backup for us, go in the under-23s, really start improving, and no agent, I'm happy to bring him in. And the final one is Tony from Atletico Madrid. A good uh, two Atletico Madrid players. He is a striker. I would like to sign him permanently. He's not getting that much game time in Atletico Madrid B. So I wouldn't mind bringing him into our first team squad. Making them available for the under-23s. But bringing them on in games where we're already winning. And we're going to afford to rest Ian Chapman. Um, but yeah, he looks decent as well. So we'll have a lot to do during this January transfer window. I think there's five games currently scheduled, but this could easily change if we make it past Southampton in the FA Cup third round. They are a Premier League side, so it will be a difficult game. Um, in terms of the rest of the window, then, if there's any other players who I potentially want, I'm kind of banking on saving my money for the summer, really. Um, oh, I didn't even talk about... I didn't even talk about the other signings. Right, sorry. Ignore me. A couple of more permanent deals who I'm after. Armando Harewood. Currently on loan at St Mirren from Arsenal. We have made, what was it, a 350k bid. His contract's running out at the end of the season. And if he was to sign, I would want him in my first team squad immediately. I think his contract with St Mirren is going to run out. Um, so we will be able to sign him during January. And I hope we can bring him in. English, 19 years old. He's got the potential, uh, four and a half star current, uh, potential, two and a half star current. And yeah, I'm hoping to bring him in and put him straight in at the first 11. And the other one who I didn't speak about was Rafael Gabrowinski from FC Bayern. He's coming in and I anticipate this being our second choice centre back in the Premier League. Uh, so he would come in, be first choice right now and in the summer hoping to sign someone elite, <laughs> basically. Um, but I think he will be a very, very good second centre back to have. Physically, he's fantastic. Mentally, he's good as well. Technically, he lacks a little bit. But um, 21 years old. I'm hoping he's still got some potential to grow. But I'll be bringing him in either way. £5.75 million pounds for him seems like a good deal. So if we are to make them two signings, our right-back will be strengthened. Our centre-backs will be strengthened. Left-back then becomes the immediate concern. Um, but again, it might be worth waiting because I can't really find anybody who has Premier League potential who wants to sign for me right now who is also very very good so we might have to sit and wait on that we'll have to see how the January transfer window goes and um, see what sort of outs might happen I'll show you the squad a lot of them are currently wanted we are losing um, Adekanye he is leaving to join Millwall and we're also losing Adarabeo who's joining Crystal Palace I think that's 4.8 million for Adarabeo we'll have a look 4.8 million for pounds for him 800k for Bobby and that will leave some gaps in our squad obviously but we will fill them but there you can see we've got like five players wanted, none of which are starters. Um, apart from maybe Xavier Mbayumba, but we are sort of already re replacing him with Garowinski. Um, we'll have to wait and see. I would sell him for big money um, and then maybe look to make another centre-back purchase. But anyway, that's enough of talking about our plans. Let's continue on and see what happens. Right, so our offers have been accepted for a lot of players. Kanair is willing to accept my deal straight away there. Turkish central midfielder will look to bring him straight into the squad. I'll negotiate these contracts and see what happens. Porcino facing layer pressure. I, Im I imagine we're not going to be the only side who ends up com coming in for him. He's wanted by a lot of a lot of big teams. Red Bull, Leipzig, Lazio, big teams. Wolfsburg as well. So we'll have to wait and see. There is Armando Harewood coming into the club. £350,000 for an English right back with the sort of potential he has got is not a bad deal at all. So we've just played Southampton in the FA Cup third round and frustratingly ended up getting a draw, which means we have another game during the January transfer period in the replay. 2-2, um, Ian Chapman and jo uh, Jim Walker with the goals. Harewood got his start and got two assists from right back today, which is good, um, but not ideal. So there is the young striker from Atletico Madrid, Tony, accepting our contract offer. Let's go and see if we can bring him in straight away, which I would really like to do. 
he'll be sitting in the first team squad, potentially getting some game time from the bench, but mostly playing for our under 23s. Let's see how much they want. They want 70k to bring him in now. That is absolutely nothing. Here's another one, Dominico Tonelli, accepting our contract offer. The centre half from Empoli. He is a five star player, Tony, so we'll get him in. He's in the first team squad, but we'll make him available for the under 23s for 90 minutes. Uh, hopefully, get some game time there. But I will try and persist and give him game time here as well. Whilst we're in the championship um, and we're winning games, then it's a perfect opportunity for us to bring in youngsters who are not quite good enough, but get, are getting there. Dominic Ortonelli will cost us £12,000 to bring him in now, so I am happy to pay that bit of business. He's going to sit in the under 23s, two star current, four star potential is fine. Um, we've got plenty of centre backs, so we don't really require him in the first team squad. Uh, so we'll hope that he can improve in the under 23s. Two permanent signings to confirm now. Rafael Garinsky, the centre half from BFC Bayern, is joining us, as is Oscar Remberg, the right winger from um, the Norwegian club. I forgot who they're called. So Garinsky comes in as a three star current, five star potential centre half. He is immediately our best centre half in my mind, so he will be part of the first team squad coming in as much as possible in that centre back role. The nice thing about him as well is he's got so many positions where he's natural in. Um, he will come in handy, I'm sure, at some point. And we signed Oscar Remberg, who is coming into the first team squad as well. Uh, he's going to be our backup right winger. I'll look to get him as much game time with his model citizen personality. Only rated as a three and a half star potential player, but um, I'm happy to bring him in for such a cheap fee. Florentino has accepted our contract offer as well from Atletico Madrid. We'll see how much they want for us to buy him permanently. He's the main one I want to bring in um, to the first team squad because he does fill a gap. That we currently have in terms of um, central midfield cover. 300k to bring him in now. Um, not a bad bit of business. Iron willed personality is what attracted to me, him to me the most. Three star current, five star potential. He will see plenty of game time at us this season. And yes, I did get Sebastiano Esposito, Esposito uh, scouted. Uh, probably not in our price range anymore, unfortunately. So I've just made an approach for this fella. 17 year old Albanian currently contracted to PSG. Um, he wasn't someone I was initially going to approach, but now the scouts have convinced us with his two-star current, five-star potential, 17 years old, and um, can play all across the midfield. I would happy to take this boy on a free. Absolutely fantastic. Pietro Porcino, we won't be able to sign him this window, but he will be coming to us on a free. He's decided to reject offers. I think Wolfsburg went in for him and Lazio, um, and he's decided to come to Leeds United. Absolutely delighted with that. So, we've just played Wigan away from home, um, 1-3-0. Kazim Edin with the goal, Ian Chapman with two. Disappointingly, um, we picked up a good couple of injuries there. Our new signing, Oscar Remberg, came on for injured Kazim. And then Jim Walker got injured. All of our new boys did get game time, though. Florentino, everyone apart from Tony, um, just due to the injury situation. I would have tried to get him on. Um, but Florentino came on. Uh, Oscar Remberg came on as well. Just, uh, I'm hoping these injuries aren't anything significant. Thankfully, there were just one to three days injuries, so we are absolutely fine. So, we've just played Southampton in the replay, and we've beat Premier League opposition away from home. Ian Chapman and Gowranski with the goals. Fantastic performance, fantastic result. And I'm really, really pleased with how this squad is looking right now. Tough, tough game, this one. We managed to get a 2-1 home win against Nottingham Forest. We did go down to 10 men. Before they scored, they got a penalty. I'm assuming the penalty was uh, the result of the second yellow card for Rafael Garinsky, our new centre half. Not a good start for him. Majaya and Jim Walker got the goals for us, though, and we managed to get away with it. An absolutely phenomenal second half performance gives us a 4 2 win at home against Nottingham Forest. This time it was in their FA Cup fourth round, though. Ian Chapman, Jim Walker, Walter Bengua, and Namora all scoring in the second half after we went in 2 0 down after Forrest had a fantastic first. But um, happy to get through. We've got our revenge against Blackburn Rovers after the last game and 1 3 1. Walter Bengua, Jim Walker, and Oscar Remberg getting his first goal for the club. Good result. Massive, massive win against fourth place Everton away from home. Jim Walker with the only goal in the 41st minute. And that is our final game in January. Still a few days left of the window. Um, it's been incredibly quiet after the initial burst in the first week, but I'm relatively pleased with how our squad is sitting for the final um, for the final half of the season. As you can see, we have now extended our lead at the top to eight points. Brentford have moved into second, Millwall down to third, uh, and we are in a very, very good position going into the second half of the season. There's not too many games left, as you can see here. 
what's that, 4, 8, 13 games or so to go. We are looking odds on favourites to at least get promoted and hopefully win this league. Ian Chapman doing excellent stuff up front for us. Whether he's good enough for the Premier League or not, I don't know. We'll have to wait until the summer and see what else is available. But I'm very happy with his performances so far in the Championship. And because I don't anticipate anything more going on during this period, this is our final squad for the Championship season. We've got plenty of cover on the right-hand side now. Uh, we're happy on the left. Jim Walker is really starting to massively improve. Now he's become natural on that side. He's playing the inside forward role. His performances have dramatically improved. I think he was averaging around a 6.9 before that change. So happy with how things are going with him. Centre midfield with the signing of Florentino. He is getting a lot of game time in that defensive midfield position. I'm training him to become natural there. And um, I think he will replace Ben's pace in our squad for the rest of the season at the very least. And happy with the defence as well. Left back is an area where I wouldn't have minded improving. But unfortunately there just isn't the options out there for us currently. So yeah, we've kept the majority of our squad this transfer window. There's still a lot of players currently wanted. The likes of Abia Ezio we could have cashed in on. Um, but he is such valuable cover and he's done pretty well when he's given the game time. So I'm happy to keep him around the squad for at least this season. Maybe look to sell him in the summer. But he is English, which is a good a good thing for us because it's not, it's not a very English squad. As you can see, we've got, what's that? Maybe about eight or nine English players currently playing for us, but not many in the first team squad. So I need to keep a hold of um, my English players where I can. So just to wrap up the major transfers for January, Florentino for 300k from Atletico Madrid, a fantastic central midfielder who has plenty of potential to grow. Oscar Renberg for the right-hand side. He's already played a good couple of games and he's performing pretty well. Uh, Kazim Etem is currently injured, so he's going to find he's getting a lot more game time than he would be expecting. Rafael Garinsky, a fantastic centre-half, who I anticipate being a starter in our Premier League season. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. Dominique Ottenelli joined the club for £11,000 from Empoli. Sitting in the under-23s, he looks like a very good centre-back at least. Potentially, probably a championship centre-back, maybe not Premier League. Might be a bit uh, of a stretch too far. Tony coming in as our backup striker for £69,000. Decent player, two-star current, four-and-a-half-star potential. Um, he's already start, come off the bench in the last game, so we'll try and give him as much game time as possible. And our final signing was, of course, Armando Harewood from Arsenal for 350 k Our current starting right-back, and I anticipate starting him in the Premier League as well. English, 19 years old, exactly the sort of player we need. So looking forward to the next episode, then there will be one episode before the end of this uh, season. So probably either Watford and Hull or Hull and Ipswich. It just sort of depends how the league form is going. Um, you'll find out in the next episode. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.